Isaac broke YouTube with one video. Let's recreate this open so you can do the same thing. Three weeks ago, I uploaded my first video on this channel. Today, it has 10% click-through rate, 50% retention, and over 10,000 views. Now I want you to hit pause right now and download all of the elements I've created for this tutorial. They're linked in the description below so you can follow along. You should know that I used four different AIs and spent three hours trying to create my own version of this Isaac head. I didn't want to just steal his because then it wouldn't be copyright free and stuff. So I ended up with this head here, which turned out okay, but that took forever to create. And then I took photographs of myself and put the head on my body like Isaac does. So you get all of these ready to rock and all the other elements I use. So go ahead and hit the link in the description right now and download all these elements. I'll wait right here. The first thing we're gonna do is add the voiceover and I've recorded it for you already. Now Isaac uses an AI voice, which is okay, but you're always better off using your own voice for your videos instead of an AI voice because all of these social medias are starting to clamp down on AI generated content. They want to promote real stuff that you create. So I recorded this for you and you're welcome to use it all you want. Now I've dropped Isaac's open into our timeline so we can look at it and evaluate what he's doing. If I just play a second of it. Three weeks ago, I uploaded my first video. What's he doing? He's got a screenshot and he's just zooming in on it on the part that he's saying as he says it. So let's go ahead and look at ours. Five months ago, I uploaded my second video. With got it. Now the first thing we're gonna do is just trim off a little bit of the head of this because that's a little bit of extra space we don't want. You don't wanna waste even a frame. And then we're going to take the first graphic, which is my channel in 2023. So this is five months ago. And Isaac started zoomed in like that and then zoomed out a bit so you could see that desktop, that white background. So what we're gonna do is start zoomed in a bit here. And then we'll zoom out a little bit to reveal a white background. So we're gonna set a keyframe for position and scale. Now you don't need to go position, scale, position, scale. We can just hit this one right here and it sets a keyframe for all of these. Even if we don't use them, it doesn't matter. It's just one way to go a little bit faster. So we've got a keyframe there. We're starting zoomed in. We wanna zoom out a little bit over the course of a few frames. I'm just gonna scale it down and reveal the background. And you may notice that our background is black. We want it to be a white background. Now we could import a white background or a desktop or something, but there's a cool trick that you can do in CapCut, which is scrolling here to the bottom, and we've got this canvas option. I click here and I can scroll down to style, and then it reveals all of these different styles. If I hit this arrow, and we just want something that's white with a little bit of interest, so we'll just take this guy right here, and bam, now we have an interesting white background. And that would look like this. Five months ago. So we're already on a good path. And notice that this only works if you're on the first track. Once I drag this up to the second track, that canvas, that white background goes away. So all of this stuff has to be on the first track to use that trick. And next, we're just going to go ahead and zoom in as I say certain things. So here we go. Five months ago, I uploaded my second video. Okay, so my second video, for second video, I wanna show the second video. So right before that happens, just a few frames before, I'm gonna set a keyframe because I'm going to start to change two properties, scale and position. To do that, I'm gonna hit this keyframe guy right here and it sets a keyframe for all of these, scale, position, and rotate. We're not gonna rotate, but that doesn't matter. And notice that between this keyframe and this keyframe, nothing happens. But starting right here, I wanted to zoom in a bunch onto this, the second video I uploaded in two years. So I'm going to use the keys on my keyboard and go forward with the right arrow key about five frames. So it zooms in quickly. And now I don't need to hit one of these keyframes. It will automatically add another one as soon as I scale this guy up. Because it's highlighted, I can scale it up and then I can position it. So Jennifer Lawrence is right in the middle of the screen. So it would just look like, oh, I uploaded my second video. Bam, and it did it exactly when I wanted it to. And let's keep listening. Two years when my channel had only, and I say my channel. So when I say my channel, I want to kind of zoom out a little bit and show my channel. And I'm going to set a keyframe here because I don't want anything to happen in between though. I'm going to go another five frames. And then I'm going to scale back out and show my channel. And that looks like this. So in two years when my channel had, so when my channel that zooms out, only 20 had only 24,000 subscribers. That's this right here. So I wanna see that right when I say 24, I wanna be zoomed in on it. So I'm gonna set a keyframe here again, go forward five frames, and then I'm gonna zoom in on the 24,000 by scaling this way up and putting it right in the middle there. And now for this part, it looks like this. Five months ago, I uploaded my second video in two years when my channel had only 24,000. And that looked a little boring 
because it looked almost identical that second time. So what I want to do is just not zoom out quite as much. I'm going to just come up here so it doesn't just match that last one. So it's a little bit, a little more interesting. And now it looks like this. Five months ago, I uploaded my second video in two years when my channel had only 24,000 subscribers. And right here, there's a tiny bit of a pause and I want it to like zoom in onto my face so we can get to the next shot. So starting, I don't know, right about here, I'm going to set another keyframe and I'm going to do something kind of drastic. I'm going to go over all the way to today. Somewhere around today, I want to have my face be right in the middle of the screen, have it be very zoomed in. So I'm going to zoom in a whole bunch and put it right there. That looks like this. Thousand subscribers today that now right here, when we land on my face, I want the next shot to show up. So I'm just going to throw it on top here. And that's this 35,000 views. Now, if we just play through this, this is coming towards us and I want this to be coming towards us too. So it's a continuous motion. So I'm positioning my playhead at the first frame, setting a keyframe and positioning it where I want it to be. I want this thing to be centered from the start. So I'm going to just scale this guy up until I can get it into the center. Then we want to go forward about 20 frames and have this thing zooming in at us. So it continues this motion here. To do that, to go forward 20 frames, you can use the keystroke shift and the right arrow key. So I can hit shift, right arrow twice, and that takes us forward 20 frames. We can see that with the time code here. And I'm gonna zoom in some more, a bunch more, and I'm gonna try to keep this guy in the center so it still looks good. And I'm just gonna have to look and see how that looks. That's not too bad. I think I want it to be even a little more like that. And let's have a look at it. Okay, now one thing you may have noticed with all this stuff, if we play this, we can see that it looks pretty linear. To smooth it out, we wanna add some curves, so we just right click on it and we choose show keyframe animation. And we want to add curves to the keyframes that we actually changed. We for sure changed the scale property and I think we changed the Y property a little bit. We didn't do any side to side stuff. So I'm just gonna to go to scale, double click here, and I'm going to click on each one of these guys and add a curve right here. Let me zoom in so you can see a little bit better. It's a little time consuming and tedious, but it's worth it. In other apps, you have a little more control. In fact, we do have more control here, but usually using this default center curve instead of messing with these guys is going to give you a better result. Once you start messing with them, you'll probably mess it up and regret it, but it's fun to play when you get better at it. And this first guy here, I can't click on it. Eyes too far in there. So to get to him, I just have to hit this left arrow here until I get to him. And now I can add a curve for scale. Let's go ahead and look at it and see if we need to add the curves for the x-axis. I'm going to close this guy and click off of it so we can see what's going on. Yeah, see, it's got that weird thing there. So we need to definitely, when you get that kind of stuff, it's because you don't have a curve on it. So we're going to right click it, show keyframe animation. And we're just going to add curves to all of the X and the Y's also just to make sure that it's good. You don't have to watch me do it. We'll just speed this up. Let's have a look at it now, see if it looks any smoother. Yeah, I think it looks, looks fine. Now right here where these two connect, you know, that's an okay transition because we are zooming in and we keep zooming in. It looks pretty natural, but we can make it better. To do that, I'm just going to trim off a little bit of this, bring this guy down to this track and add a transition that works like a zoom called pull in. It's gonna drag it right here. It's set for, when I click on it, I can see that the duration is a half a second, which might be fine. You'll also notice that it added motion blur. The prior version of CapCut 3.3.0 on a Mac had motion blur over here under video basic, it had motion blur down here. That's gone. It wasn't working great. It was broken. They took it away. Hopefully they'll fix it. They do have some motion blur filters, but they're not great for what we're doing. I've messed with them and all of them have some issues. So we're just going to kind of skip motion blur, except when we get it for things like this and let's see how it looks. Now that looks pretty good. The only thing we're lacking are the curves for this. I'm just going to add some curves on this guy. You don't have to watch. Let's have a look at this. I think that looks pretty good. Next, we have to add the Isaacs. Let's go ahead and start with Isaac and his watch. And we can kind of look and see what Isaac did. We see Isaac's on the right side and he just kind of pops in from down below, pops in, he bobs a little bit and then he pops back. So let's go ahead and get Isaac, our Isaac scaled correctly, make him a little bit bigger and he's facing the wrong way. We want him to come from this side. So the way you flip something is you just click this little icon here, the mirror, and now he's facing the right direction. And he comes in over the course of about five frames. 
So we're going to position him where we want him to be when he comes in, which is right about there, because we're saying five months ago, time, watch, setting a keyframe for that just by clicking this guy right here. So it sets all of them. And then I'm going to go back to this first frame, no keyframe there, but I'm going to just drag him down here like that. And then he'll automatically pop in. Five months ago, I uploaded my... So right before that pops up, I want him gone already. So right about here, I'm going to set another keyframe and then I'm just going to move him back. One, two, three, four, five, and have him just peel off the screen like that. And he'd look like this. Five months ago, I uploaded my second video. So that that's not bad, but five months ago, I uploaded my set, but he was kind of bobbing and stuff. Now we could have keyframes and have it moving back and forth, back and forth with keyframes. It doesn't always look great and it's kind of cumbersome. The thing that is really easy in CapCut is we can add a little bit of that motion, that bouncing stuff by just clicking on effects and using my favorite effect, which is rebound swing and, you know, turn the speed down and this little bit. And it just makes him look a little more natural. And we're also going to smooth out those keyframes by adding curves. So this is the last time you see me do curves today, but just so you get it, right click, show keyframe animation, and then just add curves for each of these properties that we actually touch. We don't mess with scale in this one, but we do mess with the X property. So one, now with the rebound swing and the curves added, it looks like this. Five months ago, I uploaded my second. Bam, and I'm gonna do the same thing one more time for the next Isaac, and then you can do the rest yourself. So watch this one. And at months this point, ago, I uploaded my second video. So my, that's my second video, I'm gonna point at it. So I'm just gonna go over here to media and look for Isaac pointing. And right as it's scaling up, I want that Isaac to pop off and the other one to pop on. So I'm going to find that frame using the arrows and that's right when he's starting so i'm going to add isaac popping on here go forward about five frames and five isn't a magic number it's just kind of the one i use five or six it seems to work pretty well and i want him to be pointing i want him to end up where he's going to be so he's going to point to that video that looks pretty good i like my isaac's green eyes what do you think he's pointing at that video maybe make him a tiny bit smaller that looks pretty great i think i want him to end up there so i'm going to set a keyframe and move him back remove the playhead back five frames and get him off the screen. If I hold down the shift key when I drag him, he's going to stay parallel. He won't go up and down so much unless you push really hard. So let's try this. Five months ago, I uploaded my second video in. And that's that's kind of great. And let's figure out where he ends. Second video in two years when my. And I'll have him just fly off the screen right about there. So I'm gonna set another keyframe here. Bam, one, two, three, four, five and hold down the shift key and drag him to the right and now he's gone let's see how that looks and i don't really need this guy anymore there so we'll just play that five months ago i uploaded my second video in two years when my channel had only what does it need to look a little more natural it needs curves added and it also needs rebound swings so i'm going to add rebound swing for you by clicking on effects and i've saved it if you can't find it go up here and type rebound swing and I'm gonna add it, and then it's gonna tweak it a little bit, speed there, size there, just so it's not just like the other one. And on my own, I'm gonna add the curves and then show what it looks like. Let's see what that looks like now. Five months ago, I uploaded my second video in two years when my channel had only 24,000 subscribers. The other thing that Isaac adds are some sparks. Now, we've got some sparks just built into CapCut. We've got these called Sparks 2. If you don't see them, I've, I've favorited them. You can scroll down and find them or just type Sparks 2 up here and it should pop up. And the sparks were in between Isaac and the screenshot. So I'm just gonna drag the sparks in between Isaac and the screenshot. And, and yeah, if we just let him go that duration, probably looks good, let's see it. Five months ago, I uploaded my second video in two years when my channel had only 24,000 subscribers. If you think this is cool so far, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and tap that bell so you're notified when my next video comes out. Right now, I'm gonna add some music, sound effects, and kinda add the rest of the Isaacs in myself. And this is what the finished masterpiece looks like starting right now. Five months ago, I uploaded my second video in two years when my channel had only 24,000 subscribers. Today, that video has 35,000 views. I have over 50,000 subscribers and I'm gaining 8,000 subscribers per month. If you wanna break YouTube with one video just like Isaac, you can learn how to edit. Once you have mastered CapCut, you can look at a video like Isaac's and break it down and figure out on your own how to do stuff like we just did. So, you know, click this link right here over Peyton's head or click the link in the description so you can master CapCut. It is by far the fastest path to breaking YouTube. 
And we all know you want to break YouTube, don't you?